Hey, hey, it's Pat from Cardboard Odysseys. So, on today's uh, episode here, I've got a Fallout Collector Booster Box opening. That's right, my Amazon orders actually went through. I'm as shocked as you are, so um, uh, this is going to be a long one. Let's definitely preface with that. I'm a huge Fallout fan. I've loved the IP ever since uh, my early teens. My father actually played 1 and 2, so uh, I had a bit of exposure to that. And I've played every single Fallout game except for, I think, Brotherhood Tactics. Um, outside of that, you know, I spent tens of thousands of hours with the franchise, so I'm definitely uh, going to fanboy out. So make sure you have yourselves a drink and a snack if you're here for the long run. Otherwise, just skip towards the end because I'm going to do a little bit of a recap. And uh, outside of that, again, these are all for me. Um, I've got another box I'll probably put on the shelf. Um, I do want to share some of the experience with my father. I got him into Fallout 4 a few years ago, and he's been playing that for ages and ages at this point. Um so yeah, definitely looking forward to sharing some of my passion with some of his as well. So looking forward to uh, indulging in that with uh, him on uh, Easter weekend, probably we're going to get into that. But without further ado, man, I just I can't hold back any longer. Let's get into this. Oh boy. So if you like this kind of content, go ahead, like, subscribe, let us know down below. We are talking with some of our channel members. That's right, we have channel members nowadays. We're talking with some of them about getting into box breaks and stuff like that. So if you're interested in any of that, uh, you got to be a channel member first off, and then let us know. Um, otherwise, yeah, let's uh, let's get right into it. We got oh, twelve of these collector boosters. I'm terrible at shuffling. I'm just not even doing that. Let's let's just ah oh, just make a huge pile everywhere. Oh my goodness, Sentinel Sarah Lions. Heck, this is, this is going to be a fun one. So, let me know if there's anything uh, that you were hoping to get. You know, I, uh, I, don't, I don't think that there's anything particular I want out of the set. I do, I do say I want one of them Pip-Boy 3000s. Those are, those are phenomenal cards. Iconic, classic in the series. Starting off with a forest. Okay. Sunken Hollow, Colonel Autumn. Man, the foiling on these. I opened up two collector packs previously. I got um, some from Walmart. Man, really nice. They still hold up. They're super flat. I got to say, this is one of the best quality printed products I've seen from them in a long time. Temple of the False God. Man, at Uncommon? Well, this is definitely going in a deck. Holy schmoly. Yeah, so I'll do lands and then stuff I'm going to put in decks. I don't care how good it is, air quotes, but it's going in something. Uncommons, rares. We got Piper Wright, Public Reporter, classic. Exotic Orchard, okay, very nice. Wasteland Raiders, honor means nothing. Survival means everything. I love this squad mechanic. They, they did really well with that design. Oh, man, look at that. Chaos Warp. Extended Art Foil. Looking nice. I like that. You know, let's go ahead and shrink down this camera view a little bit easier. There we go. So we got Chaos Warp. Sierra, Nuka's biggest fan. It's true, she is. And it's in Surge Foil. Gotta love that. Darkwater Catacombs. Extended Surge Foil. Very nice. Stolen Strategy. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of each opponent's library. Till end of turn, you may cast spells from among them and spend mana as though it were any color. Oh, on an enchantment. That's actually pretty solid. Okay, we've got our first Pit Boy frame. We've got Ruska, Terra of Point Lookout, which is actually Ayula, Queen Among Bears. And then, oh, nice, a foiled-out Grave Titan, which is uh, represented as West Tech Tyrant. Very nice. Our first Mythic, a Rad and Wasteland Survival Guide. Ah, uh, man, that takes back me. Uh, takes me back to, uh, man, late 2000s right there, helping out Moira Brown. Ah, uh, geez, Louise. Like I said, this is going to be a long one, so uh, 
hey, please and thank you for joining me. If, uh, if you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you get notified when we put out new content. Starting off with a uh, forest. We got a steel overseer. Okay, not too shabby. Legget Lanius, Caesar's ace. Man, looking badass too. Ain't you something, huh? K Cage Brawler, very nice. Coming in in the uh, regular artwork, but foiled out. Arcade Ganon, very nice. Good companion to have along. I was very interested in this Force Mutation. I think this is a cool card. Gain control of a target creature, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, draw cards. Man, you're just doing cool stuff. I like these. We've got Mariposa Military Base, solid. An irrigated farmland. It's a plains. It's an island. It's worth it. Harold and Bob, first Newmans. <laughs> I was explaining this card to um, a buddy the other day, just the lore of it. Harold and Bob are two different people, but they became one sentient tree monster it's actually very sad and then sheltered thicket very nice sean father of synths extended in the surge foil very nice champion's helm equipped creature gets two two as long as it's legendary it has hex proof equip one it's actually pretty solid an atomize nice destroy non-land permanent and proliferate very cost efficient as well. Ooh, solid. We've got inventory management. And this is just a slick card right here. So you, for Boros, you get an instant at split second. For each aura and equipment you control, you may attach it to a creature you control. That's just, that's a value town right there. I mean, getting past all sorts of equipment costs. It's pretty rare that you can move around auras as well. So I like this. You can definitely... Swing in with a couple of creatures, boom, inventory management. The one that got through, you're getting all the goodies from it. That, that's a solid hit right there. Oh, nice. We've got the extend, uh, pit boy frame, pardon, with the foil of Mysterious Stranger. Oh, man, I love seeing this guy show up. You get the, the cool sound in game, and then he just blasts and caps at some people. Very nice. A treasure and warrior token. Okay. I think this is what, pack three now? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. You guys can't see it, but I got a huge dumb smile on my face. Uh, geez Louise. Okay. So we've got ourselves a full art island foiled out. Chalking up to a wake the past. Wow. I mean, it's expensive, but at sorcery speed, you're getting a return all artifacts from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's just good stuff right there. Desolated Mire, okay. Grim Reaper Sprint, who does not like taking extra turns? And it, extra combats, exactly, right? And it's going to be so cheap. Man, you're going in some stuff. Bottle Cat Blast, man, solid. This is a good card doing excess damage, getting that in treasure, you're going in a deck. Mortuary Mire, solid. We got Rex, Cyberhound, and I loved finding this dog a brain. Dog is just man's best companion. Love you much, Rexy. Oh, look, and you get a Basilisk Collar. Oh, check you out. We got Plasma Cutter. I think this is actually pretty sweet. I kind of like this card. I'm probably going to put that in my Kaikar deck. That's a maybe. We've got Windbrisk Heights, Nipton Lottery. This is a fun card, and I like this treatment on it. We've got the extended uh, borderless art in Surge Foil. Looking nice and shiny for you. Look at how happy Mr. Swanick is. That's right, Oliver. You won the lottery, the only lottery that matters. Sulphur Falls. Path to Exile. I mean, come on. You just... This is a solid piece of removal. You've got it in the Surge Foil here. You're going in a deck. Wise Moth Man, you are already in a deck. You're a good card, and you're going to get played. Along with the Armory Paladin. So this is the foil version in the Pip-Boy treatment. I mean, Trample's weird on a 3-3 for this, but casting an aura and equipment, you can exile, you can play it. For the price, this is just solid right now. That, that's that's a good card. And then we've got our Junk and Human Knight token. Oh, this is 
this is phenomenal. Thank you, everybody, for joining me for the experience. If you were able to get into some Fallout stuff, let me know how your experience has been. I also picked up one of the decks, the Caesars Legion deck. Got to play that the other night. Had a fun, fun time with it. Checking out the uh, Surge Foil. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. It's just hard to tell the way they did this one. Either way, we've got Sentry Bot here. Diamond City coming in looking good. Soul Ring. Holy moly. Look at you. I know this is not very expensive, but boy, that looks incredible in person with the Nuka Cola Quantums all making a circle there. You are going in a deck. We've got Open the Vaults here next. An Alpha Death Claw. Okay. Tato Farmer. <laughs> Try one. They're disgusting. Sunken Hollow. Okay. The T-45 Power Armor. See, I like this here. When it enters the battlefield, you get two uh, energy. Equipped creature gets 3-3. Three, three, doesn't untap. At the beginning, you can spend one energy. If you do untap it, put a counter on it of Menace, Trample, or Lifelink. This, this, is, this is a solid card. Kaikar, you're going to wear a suit of power armor. That's going to be great for you. Treasure Vault, classic. Ooh, boy, oh, that looks beautiful in person. <clears throat> Extended Art Surge Foil Pridwin. Nice, nice. Thank you for showing up. We've got a Templar Malere. A dark, a uh, black market. Man, you're looking nice, too. Solid. A Holebreaker Horror, reskinned as Prime Myler Queen. Solid. And Alpha Deathclaw coming in, just being scary. Menace, trample, some removal, looking good. Our treasure and zombie mutant token as well. Ah, good stuff, good stuff. Man, this is just such a cool crossover. I've been so excited for this since they announced it. I mean... Heck, I think I thought about this well before they made any sort of uh, announcement. It is just so perfect. I mean, who would have thunk it? People that like magic also would be in a fallout. And it's, you know, great timing. A couple of weeks from now, Amazon Prime's going to have their fallout TV show. Uh, really looking forward to that. It's uh, April 11th, I believe. We've got our mountain fraying sanity. I just love the artwork and the... Um, thematic flavor text they put on it so imagine it's somebody locked in one of the vaults the king the king has been murdered it's regicide vault boy what did you do what did we do i mean that's just that's man the classic kind of cthulian horror of fallout they did really well on this impassioned order now see i know it's a common but this is actually kind of hard to pull and I just love this card. It's so good. I've got a Trellis R Life Gain deck. This this should be in it. I could make it in person soon enough. You're a keeper. Preston Garvey, Minuteman. Boy, I've got a settlement for you to save. A mythic. That's just kind of hard to believe. The Red Death Ship Wrecker. Holy moly, look at you. What are you, a crab mutant? goading people oh get out of here a glowing one solid death touch whenever it deals damage they get four rad counters dang you ain't screwing around whenever a player mills a non-land gain a life Ooh wee uncommon but you are good mother load excavator i think this is from one of the first two fallout games i don't recall this but um it seems like it's a giant excavating robot that's just badass a Sungrass Prairie, okay. Oh yeah, baby. You got three dog Galaxy News DJ. He's a bard, I like that. Of course he is. Masterwork of ingenuity. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a power hammer. Yeah. You're melding a bunch of shit together so you can smack the crap out of people. I like it. Mariposa military base extended with the surge. And single combat extended art surge foil. I, I like that. You're looking pretty right there. Wild Wasteland. This is just fun. This is this is definitely going in my Kaikar deck because I have so much card draw. Uh, so for two and a red, an enchantment, skip your draw phase. 
at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top two cards of your library. You can play those cards this turn. Oh, baby. You're, and you trigger Kaikar because you're an enchantment. You, mm, you're good stuff. Chef's kiss. Nuka-Cola vending machine. Now, this is a pretty hot card right now. And we've got it in the uh, borderless. It's non-foil, but still pretty solid. Oh, I, you know, sometimes you like the collation that they have in packs. So we have both a borderless and a borderless traditional foil. Ooh, wee. Oh, that's that's a nice little bit of hit right there. And they're pretty solid, too. Those are good cards, along with a radiation a thopter token. Freaking thopters. My buddy Corey just, he was playing a... An artifact deck recently. He had like 30 Thopters out on the battlefield. Just freaking ridiculous. And, well, it's just going to get crazier as we have all these different crossover sets. I look forward to seeing uh, Gandalf and, uh, you know, Preston Garvey fighting each other. Soon we'll have, um, you know, maybe Deadpool or some of the other Marvel characters coming in. I definitely would love to see Chun-Li multi-kicking the crap out of some of these people. We got ourselves a swamp into McCready, Lamp Light Mayor, ah, the little man with a big attitude. Into Black Market, showing up again. You're still a good card, so I am not displeased. Scavenger Grounds, I, I absolutely love the theme on this. You've got the uh, general store right there. Good old Good Springs, huh? And Command Tower. Oh, I love that. You can see it's the Lucky 38 right there in the foil. <sighs> Oh, you're going in a deck. That's replacing something. We've got the Master Transcendent. This is a pretty cool card. I like the the theme, the the build you could have around this. When ETBs, target player gets two rad counters. Tap, target creature in a graveyard that was milled this turn onto the battlefield. Oh, I love cheating that stuff. It's a green mutant, base power and toughness, 3-3. Three, three. Very good. I like it. Making a deck around this would be grody in a very good way. And it doesn't say that it had to be milled this turn with this card. And uh, you can definitely take that in some very bad areas. Looking forward to seeing that one coming up. Not playing against it. No, no, no. Overflowing Basin. Ah, good stuff. You're just you're a solid filter land. Temple of Silence. Same deal. Who doesn't like scry lands? I do. Jason Bright, a glowing prophet. He's, he's a cool character. I mean... You should play the Fallout games. They've got some hard choices to make, but they're worth it. We've got Wake the Pass coming up again. Okay, cool. Extended art with a foil. Veronica, Dissident Scribe. Okay, looking pretty good there. And it's in uh, uh, the Surge foil. The backs of these cards feel interesting. Ooh, hot shit. This has got to be a nice little hit right here. So, uh, extended art, surge foil, austere command. Choose two, destroy all artifacts, destroy all enchantments, destroy all creatures with mana value three or less, all creatures mana value four or greater. I mean, come on, you're, you're good stuff right there. Mariposa military base in surge, you're surging up. We've got idolize. Now this is a cool card. I, I really do enjoy this. Again, I've... I've really been scoping out some of the Jeskai stuff for my Kaikar deck. It's one of the few decks I have in person, all real cards. And this right here, I'm making all sorts of tokens. I look forward to sacrificing them. Only issue you're going to have is that you're going to have to put Mr. Gutsy in there. So at the last moment, you can go ahead and save this aura. A lot of stuff planned for that deck. Oh, look at you. Ravages of War. Now, Borderless, Foil... It's not the Surge Foil, so it's not the super big hit of the set, but that is still a nice, tasty return, along with Radiation and a Soldier Token. Only issue with Ravages of War is I don't want to destroy all lands. That's not like something I'm going to do in a game of Commander, so that one's definitely going on the, the sell trade list, if you know what I mean. Now, let's check out what we've got in our next pack. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Boy, that's just pretty. This looks awesome. In person, this is just one of the, the best-looking sets. 
uh, I wish I could get more of this product. I wish it wasn't so damned expensive so I could enjoy this experience more. You know what I mean? But we've got our Open the Vaults, our Memorial to Glory, Roadside Reliquary. Interesting. Sacrifice it. Draw a card if you control an artifact. Draw a control if you control an enchantment. Okay. Helios 1. Nice throwback to uh, New Vegas right there. The plant is still capable of activating the devastating Archimedes satellite weapon. It's true. It, it's true. It's very much able to do that. Along with an evolving wilds, one day, maybe, kids will play here again. Preston Garvey. Yeah, you're still an ass. I still just don't like him. <clears throat> Brotherhood Vertibird. Solid, solid. A Canyon Sloth. Junk Town. Classic chunk town. Mechanized production. Very nice. Hitting a extended art mythic in foil. Okay. An enchanting artifact you control. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a token that's a copy of enchanted artifact. Then if you have eight or more with the same name, you win the game. Yeah, it's just one of those cards. Oh, snap. Look at you. Extended surge foil Rex Cyberhound. You are one of the goodest dogs. Yes, you are. Who's a good boy? A smoldering marsh. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Along with a Ferris Lake. Another Ravages of War. Now, this is non-foil, okay? Just the extended uh, borderless artwork, whatever they're calling it in this set. Along with Caesar, Legion's Emperor. So, this is in the Pip-Boy regular uh traditional foil you know i might uh i might use this to upgrade my commander deck who knows let me know in the comment section below should i trade out my version of caesar's legion's emperor for this one i might i might it looks really cool along with an energy reserve which is one of the um uh throwbacks to fallout 4 right here along with a settlement Another throwback to Fallout 4. They did really well with, this, uh, with the theme from this set. Super pleased with that. I think that would have been just one of the, the biggest travesties if they had, um, you know, AFR'd this set, as it were. I'm a huge um, Adventures in Forgotten Realms fan. You know, I'm actually rereading um, some of the original books by R.A. Salvatore and, you know, Drist and all the other Adventures of the Hall. It was just uh, terrible to see what Wizards of the Coast did with some of the artwork and lore for that set. So I got to say I am as pleased with this as I am as disappointed in that. So if you are as well, let me know in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about uh, this set as we go through it, as we check out some of our friends from the past, like Eddie, our lonesome iBot, hanging out in beautiful uh, full foil there. Cass, our hand of vengeance, a uh, sulfur falls. Oh, baby, branching evolution. I mean, I know it's been reprinted a bunch, it's not worth a whole lot, but boy, the value in this card for two and a green, an enchantment. If one or more one one counters would be put on a creature, twice that many one one counters are put on that creature instead. Yeah, yeah, who doesn't like uh, you know, counter doublers? That's that's pretty solid right there. That's going in a that's going in the keeps pile right there, you know what I mean? Arcade Ganon showing up, right? Dragon Skull Summit. Codsworth, yes, my man, I was really hoping to pull you. So, like I said, this is just going to help so much in my Kaikar deck. It is a creature, so it's not gonna trigger it, but giving my commander war two, solid. I'm definitely doing a decent amount of aura and equipment and being able to move it around. I mean, I know it's only at sorcery speed, but still, you're cheating a whole lot of that value. So, Codsworth, you are a helpful helper, handy helper indeed. Glacial Fortress, nice. Another Harold and Bob. They are the actual second Newmans. We've got a Fervent Charge. Very nice. I just love the way this looks. Extended surge whenever a creature you control attacks it gets 2-2 until end of turn NCR's rangers were feared far and wide even Caesar's legion respected them in single combat as well they should you know the rangers were badass 
contagion clasp i mean good old proliferate this is an old school it's an oldie but a goldie when it enters the battlefield put a one one counter on target creature four tap proliferate i mean it's pretty straightforward it's definitely underpowered in today's metas but um you know it's still a, a solid card right there we've got screeching scorch beast okay <clears throat> it's a bat mutant with flying menace for four and two black you get a five five when it attacks each player gets two rad counters of oh, each player okay when one or more non-land cards are milled you may create that many two two black zombie mutant creature tokens do this only once per turn well that's pretty dang good i mean i don't have any decks that this would go in but this is still a solid card okay Oh, look at you, Dr. Madison Lee, our Jess Guy commander here. Now this is traditional foil in the Pip-Boy frame. Good card. I like it. I'm not really looking forward to doing uh, any energy stuff. It's not really my jam. Along with a food and human soldier token. Okay, okay. We've still got four packs left, so uh, thank you everybody for joining me up until this point. Can't say as though we've got any, you know, huge, crazy hits out of the box yet, but uh, I got to say, this has just been one of the best uh, opening experiences I've had, and I'm really happy I'm able to share this with you. You know, I was debating, not not with Cass, just debating with myself, whether it was going to be something I wanted to share, just, you know, do for myself, but... I think I'll have that experience with my pop and we'll get to go through and read all the cards and, you know, really geek out. Should be a great time. Got our surge foil of Brotherhood Vertibird, Verdant Cemetery, Battle of Hoover Dam. Now, this is a cool card. When it enters the battlefield, choose one NCR Legion. Uh, NCR at the beginning of your end step return target creature card with mana three or less from the graveyard to the battlefield put a finality counter on it I think that means when it dies exile it um, or legion whenever a creature you control dies put two one one counters on target creature you control I mean I would just like to get free creatures back from my yard you know we've got single combat showing up again it's a good card it really is Rex, man, we've got like a whole flock of dogs at this point. Is it flock? No, it's a pack, a pack of dogs. Assemble the legions. Okay. Three, red, white, and enchantment. So far, so far I'm liking it. The beginning of your upkeep, put a muster counter on assemble the legion. Then create a red and white soldier creature token with haste for each muster counter on it. This is just going to get better payoff every turn. Especially if you're proliferating, you could do some work with this. I like that. <clears throat> our extended version in uh, Surge Foil of Moira Brown, our guide Arthur. Author. Jeez Louise, Bat. We've got Moss Fire Valley. Another Austria Command. And now this one's in Surge Foil Extended. I'm just loving these. The art on it, phenomenal. You know, you've got the uh, bobbleheads kind of just melting. Yeah, it looks so awesome. Assaultron Invader. Now, this is a reskin of Walking Ballista. Good card. Classic. Still sees a lot of combo play. Surge Foil in Pip-Boy. Our Screeching Scorch Beast. Now, these are actually really hard to pull. The um, Pip-Boy frame in Surge Foil. Definitely a nice little hit right there. Along with a junk and clue token. <clears throat> Let's go ahead, get into another one right here. Man, this is great. I think I might have had too much coffee before I started this, but just glad uh, I was able to get these boxes. Again, like I said, I was kind of surprised that uh, Amazon went through with the original pre order price, but boy, I'm happy they did. We've got Keeper of the Accord. Still sees a decent amount of play, you know. Nice little generator. Wasteland Raider. Evolving Wilds. Classic. Still seeing a whole lot of play, you know. Goes in a lot of decks. Our first Liberty Prime Recharged, I think. Nice. This is a pretty cool little card. It's it's already been doing a lot of work. I saw um, Tolarian Community College. Kyle Hill really put that thing to work. Shout out, Kyle. 
along with Recon Craft Theta. Nice. I like these um, borders for all the vehicles. It's a cool look. I'm glad they're sticking with that for a while. A Viridescent Bog. Okay, okay. Sheltered Thicket. A Desolate Mire. Okay. Pure Steel Paladin. I like the artwork on this. You got one of the Brotherhood, just full power armor out. He's got his Goss rifle right there. <clears throat> I wear the armor. I am the weapon. Yeah, dude. You're, you're badass. Oh, check you out, bro. Extended Surge Powder Ganger. I love this squad mechanic. I really do. You're getting to copy a bunch of these guys. When an ETBs destroy up to one target artifact, bro, bang squad, just bow, 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 making creep. That's just value town right there. Just value town. Assemble the Legion Extended Surge. Oh, okay. Now I really think you are going in a deck. Marshall Coup. Okay. I like you. Along with uh, Vats right here. Split second. Choose any number of target creature with equal toughness. Destroy the chosen creatures. Okay. Okay. For an instant as well. Okay. Oh, very nice. Check you out. So it's the extended artwork farewell. And uh, in regular foil here. Boy, that's that's hilarious though. He's pushing a giant detonator button. See the explosion in the background. You've got a Brotherhood Paladin, it looks like, a Securitron, small city, some ghouls. Choose one or more. I mean, that's just a beautiful board wipe. Mwah, mwah, very good. Treasure and Robot. Down to our last two packs. Ah, oh, boy. I wish I, I wish I uh, had been able to share this uh, with all my buddies, but I'm glad I got to have this all to myself, too, if you know what I mean. We got a Surge Full Art Island, Mirelert Queen as a Crab Mutant, Fervent Charge, Armory Paladin. Look at you. You got a big old plasma uh, Gatling gun right there. Sheesh. Pridwin showing up. I like you. I think this is our first talisman we've seen out of the whole thing. Yeah, we haven't seen a single bobblehead either. Those are actually pretty dang hard to pull, huh? So a Talisman of Dominance comes in, get a blue or a black, does a damage. Hey, you're solid. There's a reason you go in decks. Got Red Death right here. Stolen Strategy. I don't think I've seen this before. So four to red, enchantment, beginning of upkeep, exile. Oh, no. I, I have seen this, and it's still a cool card. I like it. Ah, Power Fist. Look at that. Punching that Death Claw right in the face. Bang. Equip creature as trample whenever it deals combat damage to a player. Put that many 1-1 one, one counters on it. Oh, Trellisara, you need more 1-1 one, one counters, don't you? We've got Sun Petal Grove. The Motherload Extended Surge. Look at you. Solemn Simulacrum Extended Surge. We're hitting a nice little pocket right here in this pack. Man, I love that that's... Um, the robot you save in the um, uh, Fallout 4 expansion. Can't remember her name at this point, but she's actually a very sad robot. All of her traveling companions died. She was the lone survivor. Yeah, th that's a truly sad robot. Impassioned Orator. Regular frame, but surge. I like that. We've got Toxic, toxic Sheep Squatch. As a cover of Gem Razor. I mean, it's a solid card. It's good. Gem Razor's good. And Mutate, because, you know, Mutate. A Screeching Scorch Beast. We got the Pip Boy in foil. I like you. Looking good. Along with a Junk Copy Token. Now, last pack right here. Hey, wish me luck. And uh, I got to say thank you again to everybody out there. If you want... Uh, to hang out and chat with us live sometimes we uh, are live every saturday 7 p.m eastern on cardboard conversations hanging out chatting for about 90 minutes or so with our uh, audience and between me bob and matt you know just uh chilling talking about video games and trading card games everything that's going on and we got james a wandering dad very nice overseer of vault 76 
Moira Brown, guide author. Okay. Terramorphic Expanse. It's nice that I get both Evolving Wilds and Terramorphic Expanse. Those are going in decks. Hardened Scales. Nice, nice, nice. Man, this is going very well with the um, uh, token doubler we had there earlier. You're, you're mwah, very good. I mean, come on, Trellisara. Come on, baby. Paladin Elizabeth Taggarty. Another rare, very solid. Cinder Glade. Sentry Bot. Man, you look pristine. The artwork and the finish on this is phenomenal in person. I mean, it's not great by any stretch. Uh, flash costs one less for each creature attacking you. When it ETBs, get an energy for each one. At the beginning of combat on your turn, pay triple energy. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one on counter energy. I mean, it's fine and everything, but dang, it just looks great. Temple of Silence, Skylands. Struggle for Project Purity, very nice. Um, I mean, Extended Art, Surge Foil, Enchantment. Three in a blue, you're, you're screaming Kaikar, you're screaming Brotherhood. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent draws a card, draw a card for each one that they drew. Good stuff. Whenever they attack you with one or more creatures, they get twice that many rad counters. I mean, de deterrent or advantage, mm, you're hitting my sweet spot right there. We've got Extended Art Surge, Nesting Grounds, good stuff. Sentinel Sarah Lions, Extended Surge. And an atomized destroy target non land permanent proliferate in the pit boy. I mean, good stuff right there. Solid, solid. And scrounging death claw. This is our Tarmogoyf reskin. Nice, nice. In foil too in the pit boy frame. I like that. Ending out with a nice cold Nuka Cola soldier token. Well, hey, like I said, guys, this has just been super fun. Uh, we've seen a lot of great cards, but uh, I think this right here, this pile is stuff that's going in decks or going up for sale. Struggle for Project Purity, a hardened scales, some impassioned order action, solemn simulacrum, power fist, stolen strategy. That's a cool card. I like that. I, I do. Farewell, looking beautiful, assemble the legion. Powder Ganger, Screeching Scorch Beast. Oof, you're something special. Yes, you are. An Austrian Command, Assemble the Legion, Battle for Hoover Dam. We did get our Codsworth. I'm happy with that. Branching Evolution. You've seen a lot of reprints, but boy, you haven't seen my decks yet. We did get two Ravages of War. Yeah, that's right. Two different Ravages of War. That's, that's just wild. Yes, sir idolized we got a few rex cyber hands command tower nuka-cola vending machines i mean so many solid hits in this box ah man we did really well and uh thank you everybody for joining this was one heck of an experience and uh really glad i got to share it with you let me know your thoughts down in the comment section and uh until next time I've been Pat. You've been awesome. Take care of yourselves.